The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of the Black Lincoln Collective, its guests, or decent human beings. You have been warned. The robot revolution will begin in 3, 2, 1. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. It's alive. Welcome to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Oh, this is going to be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'll make it pop. With your host, Parker. Featuring the sultry sounds of Fred and also Alan on the board. Let's go already! And now, let's start the damn show. It's my rock guitar. Wow! Welcome, welcome, <laughs> one and all, to the 86th edition of the Black Wing Collective Podcast, the number one audio podcast for people without ears. You can keep up with the BLC. You can keep up with us at blcpodcast.com. And please drop a like or a follow on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and our TikTok, which may seem abandoned. But it's not, according to it's Fred. Not. It's not. I put videos on there three, four times a day. That. We don't tell them who manages it. Then they have a. Then they can put a face with a name. <laughs> well, it ain't me. Yeah, it ain't. It me. wasn't. It's he Fred's our PR agent. Puts a, our PR guy. Are them anyway. So yeah. you know, <laughs> that's true. They are all videos of Fred. So it's like you couldn't guess. You we also have send, a me, send me something. Send me <laughs> send me that video of you falling down. Now, I yeah, we'll find that. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> we also have a Patreon, of course, where you can support our antics. We are also brought to you by the Pop Culture Pros Network, so check them out at popculturepros.com. Now, please allow me to whip this out, Ooh. and by this, I mean my beloved <gasps> co-host, Fred. How are you, hey, Fred? Hey, good, man. I'm good. It's the night that we do this, and we're it's doing it, so right. I'm happy. Podcast happy. o'clock. Happy. Happening. You know, yeah. we. If, I'm happy it's happening. If you listen to last week's episode, we recorded it on a different night, and yeah. like... When you're old, the vibe wasn't kids, the same, right? Yeah, when you're old, kids, you juice yeah. up to stuff for like a week at a time. So, like, as yeah. soon as the podcast ends on whenever we record it, at whatever time you're listening, that's right. And then I start, and I'm like, okay, now I have to mentally ramp up to go back to the next week because I'm old <laughs> and my elderly brain is drug addled and not it's just not as so good as it used to be. I'm so old. But yeah, so when we do it on a different night, it just it messes up the mojo. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? And so and we'll see. We say that, and then tonight we might shit the bed. <laughs> and, so. and before we go any further, I do not want to let my man feel like he's left out. Alan's here. Alan, say what's up to the people. Hey, hey. I'm doing like Fred. Hey. There you go. That's enough. Uh, go ahead, man. No. <laughs> what's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Fred used to always say something that he had like a little kind of a catchphrase when he would like, hey, party people. Yeah. That's yeah, what he should be saying. Oh, yeah. It's your boy Fred. It's your boy Fred. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you should be like, it's your boy Alan. It's well, your no. boy Alan. So, gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, oh, I'm oh. very happy to have to be here with you guys tonight. Uh, and honestly, you guys should be very happy and feel very lucky that I made it here tonight at all. Right. Because I was pretty sure this afternoon I was fixing to die. Uh-oh. These what? motherfuckers. I got. Who okay, tried to kill you, man? I'm about to tell you. And, I, and you'll you never guess. By? Was you'll it never a drive-by? Guess. It was sort Pookie. of a drive-by. It's Pookie and Neil. But I didn't know if the person was going to make it a drive-by or a drive-by shooting. Big, big so, so I was driving down the road, right, in a vehicle, mm-hmm. complete with turn signals Lights, all the yeah. all the accoutrement, accoutrement that, a, yeah. that, a, that a standard level car has. Yeah, seat belts that mostly work <laughs> great. So I'm driving, and I'm it's a three lane road, okay, with all a right. red light. Right, let me set the scene. Okay, coming off the interstate, it's two lanes going straight, which yeah. after the red light split into three lanes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're on the inter- off of the interstate, over the bridge. That's the overpass, right? Yeah. So and it's a very popular road in our area. Just tell it. Where was it? At? It was on Haywood Road. And if you okay. know where yeah. Haywood Road is, and you I know do. like you're going up toward Pelham. Yep. You're going up. Right. At the bank. Right? 
At right. The bank. Right. There's yeah, bank. I know. I, oh, that that fucking shit is treacherous. It's right terrible. There, dude. It's terrible. It's terrible right so, now. So terrible. This lady terrible decided to t- pull in. And I'll admit, I might be a little guilty of those too. She turned but left into the bank. We went. No, we went. We were both on the interior lane, or, or I guess the exterior lane. But yeah. when you turn, it goes into the interior lane, right? Right. So we were both in there. But see, I as soon as I went through, there was an opening, so I scooted over to the long, the far lane because mm-hmm. I had to get over to take a right. Yeah. She, in her sassiness, did not. <laughs> and then threw on her turn signal as I went to pass her, like under the light, because we're no. going through the light. She wanted to turn through the intersection into the other lane. That's yeah, illegal. yeah, it's very so illegal. She went to do that, and she took I the hit. did not let her do it. No, I just she went by took her. The hit, no, man. I went by her. She would. She she she, she realized it. I wasn't going to let her go. Right. And so she laid on the horn, which again she was trying to do an illegal maneuver. Yeah. And she laid on the horn, and I was totally yeah. legal. I just took the hit, man. And so, well, no, and so I, I'm trying to get paid. I, I, I happened to be rolling around with my window down because it happened to be a great day, right? Outside, beautiful day to die. Yes, it was. And all of a sudden, like it, it I couldn't help it. You and call I her just, a bitch. I gave her the, no. I gave her like strongest <laughs> finger in the world. I <laughs> took my shit out like I was like flexing, and I was like, I bet it did. He did the old finger, the the one that they bounce it. Like, yeah, like <laughs> you can see it shaking. Yeah, you know, it always I reminds me. Your, on, I bet your finger lit up like goo. Uh, well, I got long fingers, you know, man. You know, it was just <laughs> like because you could do, you know, you could do like the little like the timid or like oh, or then you can like flex it like yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like and that's what it got, and it was it was just a it was like I. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Like I just did it. And, people on the road, man. Well, and then it shit got <laughs> real, real, real quick. Really she real. hopped over on the like right behind me and followed me like two miles. Like yelling and screaming and pointing yeah. at me the whole way, you know. And like, and I'm laughing because I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong, you stupid bitch. I flipped <laughs> you off because you're a stupid bitch. <laughs> you know, but I didn't really do anything wrong. And, yeah, no, yeah. And then she'd like come up like she was gonna try and come up behind me or like beside me and stuff. And I'm just like dry, you know, whatever. I'm ignoring <laughs> it because that's what, you know, who cares? That's what you do. Yeah, you flip but them then, off like, I turned in and I was like, Oh god, I'm going to pick up my kids from school. Like, <laughs> school right. kids. I was like, We're about to have a fight in the school parking lot. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat this lady's ass. <laughs> like, and I wouldn't do that. Woman. I wouldn't do that. Obviously. Beat up a woman. But I was like, is, but hit her and start you don't know. She could come out with a knife, Fred. <laughs> what if she came she out could. guns she blazing? Could. And I had to make some fucking do some ninja moves. Ninja oh moves. Oh my god! I think you can take shit. her. I don't know. I can take her probably. I think you can take a woman, man. Thank you, buddy. Depends on the woman, really. Because like yeah, the average woman, like no, yeah. I don't think you could beat no, up. No, like, because like Cynthia I saw, Rock Rock, you're not gonna beat no, up. No, I cannot. She's the kung fu queen. No. Yeah, Hollywood no, no, no. of 1983. No. But yeah, so she ended up like doing like the slow down drive behind, where like right. when I turned off, she was like, "Hey, motherfucker, blah blah blah," and I turned around, I was like, <laughs> oh, "Have a great day." Before you say, I don't condone beating up women. No, just, no, 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 no. I just want everybody to know that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, just for the record, that. I, was like, I mean, no, no, don't do, do not beat up women. No, no, Ale- don't even allegedly do it. Right, no, don't no, Ray no. Rice anybody. Right, no, anybody. I mean, I don't want, we don't, but, we don't condone fighting in general. You have to agree. Sometimes some people need their ass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> some people need. They, like, I mean, you just don't do it because you, you don't. Well, who do was it? it but, was it Sean Connery that said like <laughs> like <laughs> he could like open hand slap a woman without a problem? Slap. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's like an open hand slap. It's okay. yeah, it's just like. <laughs> I thought he was gonna slap Barbara Walters. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I was like, so I'm like going through all these scenarios because I know it's a girl, and like, right. so I'm like, dude, am I gonna have to fight? Is this lady like gonna come out guns a blazing? <laughs> is she gonna hit me with her car? Hit me with like, what is she gonna car? do? But right. she just ended up screaming and driving off, which is fine. Yeah, and that's good. But like, man, <laughs> she was so mad, and I was like, that might be the first time I've ever really been like officially Karen. No, like, because it was a total Karen thing. Like, she was completely in the wrong from the beginning. And, and also, we don't condone fighting women. And we also no. don't condone the use of hurtful stereotypes like Karen. Well, however, however, Fred, uh, mm-hmm. I will say that every Karen whose name started with a K that I've known <laughs> has been mean. Really? My, and Karens my- with a C are always very sweet. Very nice. My my mother in law is a, a Karen with a K. 
Yeah, and well, yeah, she's, she's, she's a, great a nice lady. lady. She's, she's a, a no, nice she's lady. a great. You know, there's always she's, exceptions she's to the nice rule, lady. Fred. Yeah, exactly. And she's that's what one, makes life the one in the million out of the <laughs> Karen's right. with a K. Down, Karen. Down. <laughs> 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 the Talladega Knights and the Cougars' name was Karen. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I wonder if that's where it came from. Probably not. Down, uh, Karen. Dude, I've been. I think I told you guys this the other day, but I've been Karen's on like a, a tear with those those old like those twenty. 2012 to like 2015, 2010. Oh, yeah. Movies, man. They're the best. Yeah. Comedy. They were. Like Tropic Thunder, like, Talladega Nights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I watched I Love You, Man, the other night. And, like, dude, that was the best movie, dude. Yeah, great movie. It's so good. Well, and so, did you guys see that Adam Sandler won that? Uh, was it like the, the movie award or whatever? He won like a Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, did he, did he get a Kennedy? You get a Kennedy's on, a Kennedy's Mark Twain on? Award. He got, he got some award. Mark, the Mark Twain Award? He got a Mark Twain? Yeah. yeah. Did he really? Damn. Good for him. Yeah, Steve Buscemi. Dude, that dude's come a long it. way, dude. He's dude, yeah. And that's what way. I was like. That is amazing. Because, like, you don't, yeah, Steve Buscemi was there. Like, he gave him, like, gave him a bit of speech about him and stuff. <laughs> really? Like, a bunch of people, dude. It was, star, it was star, pretty star set. Yeah. yeah. Like, O'Brien. I saw, I saw yeah. when Dave Chappelle got his. I watched that one. That was pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, he was smoking in the Kennedy Center. <laughs> he lit up a cigarette on the stage at the Kennedy Center. <laughs> he doesn't care. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but uh, what do you think? Do you think, like, I mean, so looking at, at that, that kind of made me think about Adam Sandler, like watching those movies anyway. And then, right. Like on the whole, what do you think about Adam Sandler? I mean, do you like, I, I I, I've watched great. his Netflix movies and I don't think they're that bad. No, nah, they're not terrible. No, we just, well, I'm waiting on uh, they're, Murder they're. Mystery 2 Drops this Friday Right And like my wife said she didn't see one So we had to go I back and one. We had to go back re- and rewatch one yeah. But no they're, they're great man And then like His dramatic uh, roles are awesome Yeah that was what I was about to say The Uncut Gems yeah, yeah. And did, like, seen, Oh my god Did you ever see um, was it uh, that movie put that that movie studio on the map? Yeah, yeah, A twenty yeah. four. Yeah, yeah, it put that put it on the what map. Was the other movie that he did, Punch Drunk Love. Yeah, Punch Drunk Love. Yeah, yeah you Punch ever see Drunk that? Love, yeah, oh, was, yeah, he was yeah. really good. Spanglish, Spanglish yeah. is okay, but it was good. Well, you can't. They can't all be winners. Man. They can't all be winners. You know, I mean, you know, but I of mean, course, then, like his, then you get like Jack. You get movies like Jack and Jill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Which were, right. but they're like they're kind of adorable in a way, like. They're not. Hilarious. They always have. A, yeah, they always have yeah. like a, a. And he's smart soul because, like, end. for example, Jack and Jill, he had what uh, Al Pacino was in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, he, he, you know, they may not be solid script wise, but man, he's got some good actors. <laughs> but in yeah, it. he's got like he can say, "Oh, I worked with Al Pacino." You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the thing. Is like, yeah, <laughs> you know, Christopher like, Walken. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? What are you saying? Yeah. You're looking at my guy all wrong. <laughs> Stab you in the eye with a Saturday night. That's Joe Dirt. <laughs> yeah, that was the first Chris we're walking. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I can't come up with. I put a watch in my ass. I, in my ass. I still can't. Do it. We tried that before in a good morning, and I tried that line, and I haven't gotten any better at it. Voices on this show have taken. You can tell that we have skimped on the voice acting budget lately, Fred, because it's just a lot of us talking, and we've been doing voices. Like, they've been, yeah. Shit! Like, <laughs> Look at me, I'm John Travolta. Hey, I'm John Travolta. <laughs> Sound yeah. like this oh. name? <laughs> I'm still John Travolta. Hey, I'm John Travolta. Hey. That's about all I got. Oh, <laughs> so. no, but, no. I, I mean, I, I love Sandler, though, man. I mean, I was down with him from the Say jump, him. man. He was oh. from SNL to the CDs. I think yeah, I still dude, got yeah. one of the CDs. No. I still he got one of the CDs. I love Adam Sandler. Yeah. 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 It's crazy like, to think that. Like, when my, like me and my wife first started dating, like, we would, uh, you know, just ride around in the car. So, and this was like, we had yeah. CDs. For kids, if you're listening <laughs> to this later in life, at some point in your in our lives, there was so little to do. There were no smartphones. <laughs> there was really in my yeah, no. You would spend evenings, three, four evenings a week sometimes just yeah. driving around just and driving cars. around. But gas was cheap. Gas yeah. was cheap, yeah. Gas was yeah. cheaper. You, you know drive what I'm to a place and you'd like... You get a friend and be like, yo, like, go yeah. half on $10 you know, on tank. 20 mm-hmm. bucks, fill up your tank. Yeah. And you drive old around men, all night. In this you edition I mean? of Old Men Yelling at Clouds, gas used to be cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and you could get a Big Mac for a nickel. And we called them cram sandwiches. 
because <laughs> of the war. Well, you can get 29 cent tacos at Taco Bell. It's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'll never forget one of like, you know, they have, what are those things called? Like, what was that, that movie uh, with the feelings? The like Disney movie with the feelings. You know what I'm talking about? The one was all about the feelings. Oh, <laughs> Inside Out. Inside Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like those core memories or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Those are your core memories. What about, no, no, seriously. So, one of my core memories of my life, I swear to God, this is so terrible, <laughs> is that my McDonald's used to do 25 cent. Like cheeseburgers on Tuesdays on like yeah one day but yeah like, it was like on sometimes they would run it and it would just and like you could just get all these cheap ass cheeseburgers <laughs> yeah and like my mom used to go and buy them like twenty five at a time yeah like when it was like when they did it she would like and she would just throw them all in the freezer <laughs> and so like all I, I mean look at yeah. me look at look at the body my McDonald's this is my big but body <laughs> this is probably why now that I think now that I think about it. But it's, it's all making sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Ronald, Daddy, Father this, Ronald. This podcast was a breakthrough. Oh man! Finally, I'm, thank God I didn't pay for uh, better help. <laughs> thank God I canceled that free trial because I just saw my shit. <laughs> We're not brought to you by Better Help, but mm-hmm. they're having a lawsuit. But there's a guy, Fred. Okay, and this has nothing to do with anything. And I apologize for okay. this in advance. Okay. There's a guy in a Better Help commercial. And he, it's a one I've just been seeing lately. And he's like a better, kid. Better BetterHelp.com. The, uh, the like online um, therapist. Therapist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay. he's in this commercial and he's at the very end of the commercial. And mm-hmm. he's like, hey, I'm driving my car because like finally this was a big breakthrough for me. Better help. Yeah. And I can't figure out he's he's in something. And it's driving mm. me crazy. And I can't figure better. out who he is. Better, health. it's a better health commercial on YouTube. Health and health, yes, I think, or better help, 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 better help <laughs> commercial. And I can't figure out who this guy is. And it's just some dude, and he was in something, and it's driving me insane. Uh, but he, that guy, he, yeah, that guy was in, he looks like Adam Driver's son. And I feel like he played Adam Driver's kid in something. Well, there's but a I don't know him. Is it the guy with the beanie? He did not. I think he had a baseball cap, baseball style cap on, if I baseball recall correctly. He's a young, whitish guy with a weird nose. Like he has a real, he has like. Oh, I see. He's got a purple shirt. Purple shirt. Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't looking at his shirt, Fred. Big chin. Probably. Long, Can we got a long Pull him up on the screen, Alan. He's yeah, long head, real, real yeah. long head. Yeah, he got a real long like head. Quick way to yeah, yeah, yeah. a human being. <laughs> yeah. no, no, okay, we're go, we're plotting through this. So, guys, listen at home. Just Google purple shirt, long head, better help <laughs> guy, and you'll be right there with us digitally. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but I don't, think, just, I don't think he's anybody though. <laughs> okay, but I I, okay, him. so I said all that. He's somebody. He's but I just can't remember what he was in. I'm going to figure it out. I mean, he is somebody. Yeah, I'm going to get him on the show. To his parents. But, I'm going to get him on the show. <laughs> I'm going to be like, what were you doing? <laughs> yeah, you long head, purple I would like, I wish we had, like, if Alan was good on the, the things, he'd have, like, the, uh, what was it? Who wants to be a millionaire? Where it's like, da 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 da. What were you in, asshole? Tell me. <laughs> what is that YouTube commercial? <laughs> but, like, I say that to say, remember back in the day, like, and again, sorry to be like old men yelling at clouds. But back in the day, you would like see somebody and you would have no idea who that person was for years. Like, like you mean, yeah, like a celebrity or something. And oh yeah, like, yeah, no who doubt. The fuck is that person? And then you just yeah. like forever, you would not. I know. I, Paul Giamatti. I didn't yeah. know Paul Giamatti's name for like forever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Giamatti. He's just a good character actor. You know what I'm saying? He's he's in everything. No, but you know, I ain't sticking around to see the credits. That's true. That's true. Well, see, and that's the thing, too, is it would just be like, here's a list of names. It could be any of these 26 <laughs> people. Like, good luck figuring it out. <laughs> so, Alan, do you have an, a, a USA heart behind you? Did you say Merry Christmas? Yeah, it's, a, Merry yeah Christmas. it's a Merry Christmas. Merry yeah, Christmas with the USA heart. Yeah, that came up. That just got put up there recently, no, right, Fred? it's been there since Christmas. Where's, where, the top wow. right corner? Yeah, yeah. yeah B, uh, B sent me that. Because he, he, he that has not been there since Christmas. Yes, it has. Go back in the show and look at it. It's been there since Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this show and go. Yeah, it has been better. Better help. I want to look. I want to look at better help. 
So find out who the better help guy. If you know who the better help guy is, tweet us. Tweet the show at BLC Podcast Twitter. Yeah, BLC World. <laughs> world no. Twitter. Still Facebook is BLC it. Podcast and Twitter is BLC World. I can't do I mean, it. Like a link tree, but we, we're gonna get you to practice this, Fred. Yeah. Next week, two hours. Just mirror. Fred, like. Yeah, to the, yeah, follow the show at the at the listening channel. What, what do they call those? Uh, reads. Drops. Reads. Yeah, yeah reads. Read drops. Yeah, we're doing. We're working on Fred's <laughs> cold reads. Cold so, reads. Yeah, you know, and we're gonna have sponsors pay us to do cold reads for them. <laughs> Just like one of our friends over at one of my favorite companies that existed in on this earth, Fred. Yeah. It sounds like what my kid named it. Punch Services. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what punch services does. And I don't want to know. Because, but I'm going to call them one day when I need someone punched like that lady. That's who I should have called. I should have called our friends at punch services when that lady started chasing me. They <laughs> pulled up in a big ass truck behind her like punch services is here. Save the day. <laughs> So, well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if they have a website. I don't know if they have a yeah, phone number. They do. They do. They're, I think uh, if you just yell service. punch services really loud, yeah, it will come to you. Handyman aid. service in our area. Yep. Are they just, uh, they just punch people? Yeah. That's what I think. They, in punching people. Yeah. yeah. Service, they, their service to you is that they'll punch you for you. Uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. If I would have just yelled their name like three times that's, in the mirror, looked in the rearview mirror. Fans. Put service, put service, put service. Put service, put service. Put service. Yeah. Is it, is it, you have a, like, a female on staff to punch women. See, there you go. Oh, See, yeah. It's the perfect crime, Fred. <laughs> there you go. We don't, we're not against girl fights. No. Nope. I'm just saying, we're not generally against girl fights. Unless we generally. <laughs> unless they're against, like, generally speaking. <laughs> Dude, again, so, but like you see those those like fitness influencers, people, those like right. ladies who are like massive and yeah. like scary. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> you know, I heard there was like a, uh, I forgot what it was, was I was watching, but there was like a woman, she says like, she's a escort, but you know, she's, she's ripped. She's Jack. And like she's middle, like a little escort. Yeah, but like men will like pay her to like put them in headlocks and shit. Sure. You know? Some dudes are put them in that. wrestling moves. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they don't even want sex. They just want no. they, they, just they want to get kicked. kicked up. They want they want her to pick him up, like slam him on the bed or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, and then, <laughs> like, hmm. like cuddle Weird. me in your arms and read me a story, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah, this big a little. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a big bit. <laughs> it dressed him up like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> great, uh, another great movie. Yeah, yeah another great movie. Another movie. Another and movie. Adam Sandler was probably in that. Uh, mm, no, I feel I like he had so. a cameo in it. But it was, so. a, it was a, it was a, it was his production company. Right. That's why I was mm-hmm. saying. Might have been. You never know. Yeah, that was it. Was, was, was his production company because that was Schneider's movie. He was like, no, yeah, but I know Adam. This is mine. You get everything. <laughs> Excuse me, listeners. He did produce it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he did produce first it. movie by Happy Madison. Yeah. Produced? It was a good really? movie. And, and, and he played Robert Justin. Did he? Oh, he, he was in it. I knew he was in it. He just a little part, man. <sighs> it, says, it says he did. Now I'm going to have to watch it and see. I'm Robert yeah. Justin. I don't I see Adam Sandler. Mr. Deeds was on, on Sunday, and I saw that. Oh yeah, his movies run all the time. Well, they do. When you, it's just like our show. When you get enough media, you can just make. You can yeah, run, man. You can have his own network catalog, man. Which he kind of does have his own man. network, and it's Netflix because he kind of owns that. Yeah, yeah. Which props to him, man. I'll tell you what. Yeah. One movie, Fred, that I appreciate being on Netflix, and I'll tell you why, right. is Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> mm. And the reason that I'm so happy. That 21 the Jump Street is available on Netflix is because it saved Kanye's life, Fred. <laughs> Apparently, he watched it and Jonah Hill's performance in it made him no longer decide he was no longer anti Semitic. He likes the Jews again. He's back on, he's on, back on Team Jew, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Again, so it, it, it begs the question because this is the thing you guys have made it. Where like I have hung around with you guys long enough, and you guys have talked about how much you love Kanye enough 
to know that no matter what he does, you're always going to say, like, was this like his move, though? Was he is he like outsmarting people? You guys I mean, said that I the first time. I don't know if he can come back. I don't know if he can come back though. Like I think he was like shit. Yeah. It's, like, been, a, it's been a while since like, like he's since he's had anything yeah. come up, you know. Maybe well, and, like Adidas like burnt all his shoes and like didn't give a shit about him, like chopped him up. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, eh, oh well. I'm yeah, sorry, I mean, money too, that man. was probably a good move too. Because for them, were, it was, like, yeah, it was was like, they were horrendous. We're never going to talk about those shoes again. I know. <laughs> Even if he, if, unless Jonah Hill wears a pair in his next, <laughs> see that maybe he, he should have watched that one too because Jonah Hill plays a Jewish guy in a lot of movies. Yeah, well, I mean, what was that new one that he was in uh, that I watched? Uh, uh, list. List. He was in Chandler's list. Guess who's coming to Jonah Hill? <laughs> Different Schindler's List. <laughs> Schindler's List, baby. Yeah, yeah. Stifler's List. Was he? No, he Stifler's wasn't. List. He wasn't in American Pie, though. Yeah, American Pie, another great '90s. Yeah, Stifler's mom. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's true. She said, "I heard, I read an interview. She said she got more sex after that role." Oh, dude, yeah. like. Yeah. She had men beating down her door. Well, and she got to super get a piece famous of that from yeah. that. From, from that, that, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, dude. She was kind of the like, uh, Mrs. Robinson role. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Jennifer Shit. Coolidge, um, Coolidge, yeah. yeah. She was a Pooty Tank's kryptonite. Yeah, um, uh-huh, yeah, she was trying to fuck the shit out of the Yeah, she was poisoned. Yeah, they played poison. <laughs> that girl is poison. She was all on it. She was like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, <laughs> she was in a, she was in Soul Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's gonna give Bernie back that blowjob. And she took her teeth out. <laughs> That's too funny. She man. sucked his soul out of. <laughs> Uh, Too good, so but, but yeah, they did it, man. They did it. Like I said, I'm so proud of Kanye. Yeah, and he's back on not team hate. Yeah. Like, I just, what's he I, ever? See, I mean, that's the thing. I think I, you don't know because you don't see, know what's they, going through with people's. It's head. all. It's like it's like they always say: no press is bad press. As long as you got your name yeah. out there, and people talking about you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. That might he might have been like, oh, you know what. Maybe this was the wrong idea. Maybe I should have gone hard to get something else. Like, I don't know. So what's he gonna do now? Is he gonna just? I don't know. Just come out with a new music. Record? That's what just I want to know. That's music. what I'm asking. Yeah, he'll come out with a new record and people will just eat it up because he's eat good. It up. He is good. Yeah, yeah. People do love. I, I love it. And they'll be like, and they'll be like, soul oh, samples. Yeah, you know I'm saying he does, a, he does a good Kanye soul sample. Like, yeah, he'll be like the redemption arc now of him, like. He'll do like songs. He's gonna do like a fucking Hanukkah album. <laughs> they're like they come out. They're like even out. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> Get ready for that. And if he doesn't, do <laughs> those are the only two. Do you know any other? Because I don't know. He's gonna change his name to Moish. <laughs> Moish West. <laughs> That sounds weird for some reason. He's dancing with a plate of gefilte fish. Yeah, he's like, I love these matzo like, balls. Uh, matzo balls. <laughs> yeah, miss- he's gonna grow the little <laughs> oh, yeah, no, curls. Yeah. He's gonna grow the curls. <laughs> so a buddy of mine asked me, "Oh yeah, that reminds me." So guess what, Fred? I book. <laughs> uh, we've talked about this before, and this is true for anybody on the show. We have. I booked my first wedding that I'm gonna do. I'm Shut gonna up. officiate a wedding. Yes. A buddy of mine, he's like, listen, he's like, I don't know any priesters. <laughs> he's telling me today he's getting married in like in November. And he's yeah. like, listen, dude, like, I don't know any preachers, but like, I have to have someone officiate the ceremony. Right. You know, anybody who's like, doesn't really give a shit and is willing to do it. And I was like, I'll do it. And he's like, what? And he was, I was like, dude, I'm totally licensed. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm ordained. And he's like, really? Are you? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> This is the reason I did it. You gotta. Pay. I told him he has to pay the forty bucks for like the, the whatever package that I have to buy. Yeah. But I was like, other than that, I'll do it and I'll say whatever you want. Like I don't care if your family's there. I don't know your family. So whatever you want, you just tell me and I'll say. It. He was like, this is gonna be ridiculous. He's like, would you dress as like like in the manner of the Pope? 
And I was like, I will dress in the manner of anyone. Do you want me to wear a frog costume? I will wear a frog. Co- I will dress like a Jedi. I do not care. <laughs> so I, you're gonna well, you're gonna dress up like the Pope. I told him if he wants me to dress up like the Pope, I'll, as long as he pays oh, for the dude. We need to, we need to take you need to, to you need to do it like uh, what was uh. Oh, marriage! Yeah. <laughs> Come together for marriage. For marriage. You might like that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> throw that out there as an option. No, I told him I would come as the lizard pope. Which is from a few trauma, and yeah. I don't know that, but I was like, I'll do it. I'll come as a lizard pope. I don't care. That? That's a space pope. Lizard pope. Yeah, space pope. Yeah. yeah. Space, space pope. pope. Yeah. Space so pope. get ready for that. And if, like I said, again, tweet the show or Facebook us, whatever, hashtag Matt will hook you up and we will get you married. <laughs> I am happy to do it. I'm just happy to do married. it. I'm happy to do it for the food. There you go. For the free food, Fred. That's good <laughs> enough for me. So speaking of free food, I think yeah. there's free food in the lobby. I'm gonna take. We're gonna take a quick break and find the lobby. And then we just gotta go to a lobby somewhere, friend. Sometimes they have cookies. Your house has a lobby. We're gonna open Jeez. one up. I hope it does. No, it doesn't. I wish I had some fresh baked cookies though. Yeah. Someday. Cookies. That's our dream scenario. Cookies. Fresh baked cookies in the middle of the show. Actually, so, when, uh, when I was at the out of town last week and I went to get my room because mm-hmm. they, they supposedly had booked my room, when I got there, it wasn't booked. And uh, I was like, well, okay. And she's like, well, talking about cookies, she's like, we got some fresh baked cookies here. <laughs> Bitch, I need a room. Man. I, I want to go to sleep. I want no damn cookies. <laughs> but, but then you got both. No, no. Yeah. I, actually, I took the cookies. and. I, uh, oh, yeah, I'm saying. But then you got a room. Later. Did I tell yeah, you, you the other? Uh, did I tell you guys about last year when I got locked out of the hotel room? I don't remember if I just talked about no. that on the show or not. I'll tell you guys that story sometime. That was the most ridiculous <laughs> fucking thing that ever happened. Hashtag fucked up hotel shit if you want me to tell the story next week. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with some more of the Black Link Collective podcast only on the Pop Culture Pros Network and every other thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Link and Collective podcast will return after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to the 86th edition of the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. I am so glad you're still with us. We have got a great, amazing, big, large, long, big, great guest coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome a friend of the show. You know him. You love him. You listen to him for all your advice other than Alan, because Alan's advice was not great last week. (laughs) It's Dr. Frenchie. Hello, hello, and welcome back, me. Yes, thank Doc. you very, very much. Doc, welcome to I the show. Am so happy to be here. Oh, we're so glad you're able to make it. Where are yes. you? Where is? Where are? Where are you headquartered at this current time? Today, I am in Ghana. That is back in my homeland of Africa. Oh, okay. Africa! Yeah. I know where Ghana is. The Ghana is where they have fufu. It's one of the foods. Yes, they, you eat it with your hands. I would like to eat that. Yes, with your hands. You eat yeah. the fufu with your so, hands. So, uh, that grosses me out a little bit, but I'm into it. I can, I can handle it. We it just feel like in yeah. a world where there's like not a lot. Well, I guess in Ghana, there is a lot of water. Like, there's the ocean, right? Anyway, yes. that, that's not why you're here. We're not here to talk about geography, <laughs> Dr. Frenchy. I don't even know. You could be in interior Ghana and not even know where the ocean is. <laughs> Alan. Yeah, Ghana is a great big place. I cannot see the ocean from my hotel room, so I right. tell you that. And that's all we need to know. So, Doctor, why have you 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 gave us a call and you yes. said your people, your people, 
reached out to our people and they were like, look, the doc has got to get on the show. We've got some breaking news. I mean, this is like a, a world health epidemic or something. So what is it that you're here to break out? Well, to people? When I got the call for the job that I am doing now, I knew you fellows would be interested in it. Mm. So that is a very pretty, very beautiful actress over here in Africa. Her name is Sugar Titi. Oh. Sugar Titi. Have you heard of this woman? I have not, but oh, well, she you has should a great have. name. She is very we love beautiful. names like that. Yes. Very voluptuous. If you know what I'm saying. Mm, okay. So she gave an interview in the Ghana News. That is what they call the mm. news in Ghana. The Ghana News. <laughs> oh. And she was telling that she likes to have sex all the time. She can do it for hours and hours oh, and kids. hours. Kids, get away. Don't listen, kids. <laughs> oh, you have children. <laughs> If, if children this. are listening, if children are listening, oh, this is bad. This is yes, little ones, close your ears. Sugar Titty, by the way, is spelled S H U G A T I T I. In case anyone needs to know that, T I the king. So, Sugar Titty says she has all this sex, but she has never orgasm. And she came to me and she says, Doctor, Doctor Frenchy. I have all the six, but I never orgasm. And I tell her, sugar titi, it is okay. Yeah. This is normal for a woman. Sometimes some woman can I come. So when the article gets out, I believe you know this fellow, Matthew. Mm -hmm. He is a male porn star from America. Oh, I probably do know him. Oh, there's, you know him. There's sugar titi. He, sugar to see, she is beautiful. She's very, she very attractive, yeah. Very voluptuous woman. Sure. So, this male porn star from <laughs> I to, America. I have to Google that guy now. His Alan. name is <laughs> it's not gonna be good. King Nasia. Oh, King oh yeah, Nasia. of course. Everyone knows this man. We all know King Nasir. He is supposedly very endowed. I have never seen his pee, -pee. So <laughs> I do not know about his pee. -pee. I do not look at. I'm sure things. it's a great pee pee. It's probably a very good pee pee. It's but he it says he can sure. make him make oh, sugar oh, titi come. He mm. can bring her to climb. Look at that! I appreciate a man who accepts a challenge. So yes, <laughs> it's very funny. So and I heard that you were talking about the Puerto Rican sex league, right? That just opened up. Yes. Recently, so yeah. now in Ghana. They have the African sex league. It's, it's, it's spreading, Fred. They, or, I mean, of Alan. spread, the spread is two to one. <laughs> on two to one on him. Oh, on, oh, which way? On Nasia. What's the over under? Two hours. Oh, okay. It's the over and under. That's a tough call. So, ladies call. and gentlemen, get your best in now. Right. You can go to sportsbook.com, mgmbet.com. <laughs> I'm sure it's on DraftKings, too. It's on DraftKings. You can do a fantasy draft. That's Bang right. Bros. <laughs> Only fun. No, not my, no, yeah, not on Bang Bros. Are they really gonna? Is are you seriously? Like they're gonna stream it? For yes, real? I believe so. They are stream. Well, I, let me let me check. That's intriguing. Yes, they are streaming right now. <laughs> um, Doctor Frenchy, I, I have a question for you. Yes, um, Alan. Are you gonna be uh, overseeing this and making sure that medically everybody's gonna be all right? I am so glad you asked this question. Because let me tell you what my new job is going to be now. Mm. I have just been hired by the commissioner of the African Sex League. What's his name? The commissioner? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the commissioner of the African Sex League. It can be Matumba. <laughs> his name <laughs> is Uno Pono Ponocchio. No, <laughs> no, no. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Uno Pono Pinocchio. So he has hired me to yeah, be the referees of these sex matches. Right. I am going to what? be the Mills Lane of the Africa session. 
<laughs> well, I'm hey, you know what? Let's get oh, it on. Let's get it on. I am going to steal it from Miss Ling. So that's a great Chris. use of it. Let's yeah, he, get it on. He's he's R.I.P. So R.I.P. Mills Lane. Yeah. Um, so what does that him. entail? What, 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 what does a referee of a sex league do? Yeah. I feel like well, that's pretty evident. Well, no, I mean, he scores points. You score points. That's right. If you come, you get one point. The opposing person gets one. Whoever makes whoever right. come. Right. Because it's fighting. Point. It's fighting, Alan. That's right. But if you karate chop somebody, you lose a point. Everybody knows that. <laughs> if you make that's your illegal opponent maneuver. moan, you can't. if you make your opponent moan, that's <laughs> another karate point. chopper nipple. You're gonna lose a point. There's no twisting, no biting. <laughs> right. No you twisting, can only no slap asses. That's right. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> There's a lot of rules, is what he's trying. There's to a say. lot of rules, and this is still you can in the go world. to www. ASL.com. Oh, okay. Make the American section. Sign Language. For, but just keep trying. Everything you so get there. Yeah. Yeah. You might. They might get. You, you well, if you do. There. Yeah. You could do. Yeah. ASL.com. ASL.com. Oh, yeah. It's probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's probably uh, the right website for the African yeah, Sex League. Uh, life and insurance. American Sign Language. <laughs> if you do not get the Sex League. Then at least you will learn the sign language. Well, but so that's good though. That sounds fun. I mean, that sounds like a great adventure for you. And oh, maybe yes. much like Mills Lane, you could turn it into a judge show afterwards. Oh, have you ever, judge have you ever had Fincy. any interest in oh, doing that, that Doctor? Oh, I love judge. I, my favorite judge is George Matthews. Would it he be is from the streets, the oh, hard yes. streets of Chicago? He doesn't oh, care. You do not play with Judge Matthews. No, you're right. I always like Judge Mills Lane. You're right. I didn't enjoy it. He is very good also. He always felt like that, fair to me. I like that bitch, Judge Judy. Whoa. I oh, no, Dr. Like Frenchie. Judge Judy. Is it going to be Judge Dr. Frenchie or Dr. F- Judge Frenchie? Oh, or Dr. I like Frenchie. That. I Judge. like Dr. Judge Frenchie. That'd be good for a play on your name. I, I like Dr. Frenchie. Judge. Like, boom. Doc, Dr. Frenchie. Judge at law. <laughs> judge of your ass, ass judge, <laughs> Doctor Frenchie, <laughs> judge, judge of all my asses. ass, and literally that's what you do. I would be judging asses, or most say refereeing. Well, yeah, referee. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're assigning points. Yeah, so. I get in there and I say break it up, break it up. I have to get in between them, or you say get <laughs> more in it. <laughs> Right? Is that, I mean, because you have to kind of do you coach as well, or do you just, it seems like a very lucrative position, is all I'm saying. Yeah, Dr. Right. Fringy, do you think Alan has had that American flag heart that says Merry Christmas behind him since Christmas? Oh, Matthew, I do not know. I have not been. I just know you're very observant. Last summer, it was. Yeah, but you're I very was, observant. And I, like, am, you, I know things. You see the future in a lot of ways. <laughs> so I think it wasn't there. I'm gonna look. Would you like an apple? I would love one. Thank you, Doctor Frenchie. All right. Do you have anything else with people, Doctor Frenchie? I know you probably got to get lubed up. Do you get lubed up? Or I do. They, I I have a case. special glove. Two fingers no. of lube, <laughs> just in just case. Like just pointed at him. And it, That's right. I took <laughs> your advice and I got the root dude lubed you. Oh, oh well, then you have plenty for the whole league. So that I cover one good. bucket will cover for the season miles. Yeah, for the one point eight million miles of sex <laughs> <laughs> is how much you will get <laughs> with one jug of rude dude lube. It's the lubiest, <laughs> the lubiest, <laughs> lubiest. <laughs> All right, Doctor Frenchie. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank, thank you, you for patronizing for one me. of our sponsors. Of course, yes. everyone. Hashtag send any medical questions as always to Doctor Frenchie. Hashtag Dr. Frenchie. Judge Dr. Frenchie. Ask Judge Dr. Yeah, Frenchie. Yeah, now he's a judge, yeah. Right. Booyakasha. Booyakasha. Booyakasha, indeed. Thank you so much for coming on. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with some more of the Black Lincoln Collective podcast. Hey, hey Matt. Hey, how's it going, fella? Pretty good. Have you great. heard of the Black Lincoln Collective podcast? I have not. Could you tell me more about them? They sound great and hilarious. Yes, it's about three guys that just shoot the crap and just hang out. 
Oh, that you sounds like what me. I'd like to do in my spare time. Oh, hang yeah. out with three dudes I've never met before. That's right. And they make noises all the time. Where can I hear these geniuses of men? Huge penises. I don't know. I think we've gone over 30 seconds. Doesn't matter. Just take <laughs> the fucking website. <laughs>Welcome back to the Black Lincoln Collective Podcast. Unfortunately, Fred had a crack accident. Crap accident? Yeah. yeah. A crap, crap accident where he pooped his pants. And he did it so violently, as you can hear, <laughs> Alan was recording it, that he had to leave the show. Yes, uh, but he, uh, he said he would be able to clean up by next week and he'll be back and less gassy than ever. Oh, and that's yeah. really that's the reason that we record virtually, like through. <laughs> <laughs> through that do the thing because I can't handle the smell. No, I mean, did you see when he did it? Like he, he he went up like two inches. Yeah, he literally grew. I thought he was getting up out of his chair, and then yeah. he was like, uh, and it was gross. It was. So, man. and you heard it. Like I said, you heard it here first. Fred definitely grabbed his pants just now. Yeah, he did. So it was, it was horrible. <laughs> so it's not cool, Alan, that he that he did that. Like it's not really cool to crap your pants. But I will tell you what is cool, Alan. Is a guy that I never thought that I would like, but that is one Mr. Deion Sanders, Coach oh, Deion Sanders. Yeah, now, Deion, Deion. yeah, dude, like I hated Deion Sanders. He went to Florida State, he was a rival of the team that I prefer, and then he was just so good though. And now, like just this last week, I guess he, uh, his like son and some of the other players, because you know he coaches at Colorado now. Uh, we're like it went in the weight room and he like rolls in with his dog like on a leash on his segway. Like he just rolls in on the segway, like all pimped out because you know he's Deion Sanders. And uh the uh the guys are out there lifting weights and he's like, Oh, let me show you how it's done. And they like because they're like, You don't know what you can't do this anymore, like you're 25 or whatever. And so he's like, All right, all right. And like he just he sits down. It took him a minute, you know. It took him a second to get like warmed up or whatever. He didn't warm up though at all. He didn't even take off his coat, and he like bumped out like six reps real quick and just was like put it back. And he's like, "Don't mess with me." Got back on his Segway and just drove <laughs> off into the distance with his dog chasing him. Like, doo, 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 doo. oh my god, dude, it was amazing to see. I was like, "Damn it, Deion Sanders, man, how did you get so cool?" <laughs> well, he's a fucking winner, man. He is, dude. You know, he wins. You know, he just, you know, Super Bowl. You know. Well, and he used to play for the Braves, which, of course, I liked. Yeah. But it was just so hard. Yeah, he did win. He, you know, he played for the Falcons, of course. So, you know, he won a Super Bowl in Dallas. I think he won. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. He deserved it because he was, he was a winner for sure. And I think he'll probably do great in Colorado. But, yeah, it just cracks me up that <laughs> the way he's like, he just went and did it and, like, showed the kids up. And then, like, back <laughs> got on the Segway and then just drove on down the road. Dude, I, be, I know we don't normally talk about, like, sports stuff, but I am excited for this year's NFL coming up because it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is going to be interesting. What do you think? And then we'll get off because I know, you know, Fred's not here, so we're not going to get too long. But um, what do you think is going to happen to Lamar Jackson? And this may be already figured out by the time – you know, I, don't, I, don't, do you, I mean, he's not playing for the Ravens again, right? No, he, no we don't know. Sports chat, folks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Sports chat. Here we go. Sports. Friends, I hear sports chat. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Um, I don't know, man. That that, that thing with the Lamar, that's weird because you know unrestricted. Well, you, yeah, well, you know he, but he is his own agent. Yeah, and that's what's fucking him up is because like he's the one. It's like him and his mom are the ones like sitting in these meetings where you know the coach, like the the ownership. I mean, that's part of an agent's job is to be like, look, dude, this is what we got you. They take all the shit that the ownership says and like all the bullshit yeah. that he would take personally, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Like you weren't even there for that. We do all the negotiating. We just give you the numbers. You know what I'm saying? So he's taking it personal. Cause they're like, well, we don't want to give you this because we don't think you're worth it. Basically. Mm-hmm. And that's probably what they would tell the, you know, like you said, that's what they would the say agent. to the agent, but the agent would be like, they said that they think you're worth this. Yeah. The agent, that's what his you job know. is to lie to you and make, right, you, and make you 
be cool, you know. But like, yeah, dude. And so I think he's like taking it personal. And like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just Where's not gonna, he gonna go. I don't know. I don't know where I mean, he's nobody's going. really looking for him. I mean, nobody's really. They're not gonna. He's not gonna win, dude. Like, I I, I like Lamar Jackson a lot, but he's not gonna win against the the NFL will blackball him if he demands. You know what I'm saying? Like, is as great as he is. Well, yeah, but the Ravens could say, "Look, dude, we're not gonna play you this year." And then we're gonna try and find somebody to trade to trade you to, but they, there's no guarantee that they do that because they've you know, got him not, on, you know. And, and 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 there's a lot of good quarterbacks coming in the league anyway, you know. Right, that's and the thing. Shit, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's interesting. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm excited. I'm glad that they're all in turmoil. Go Steelers. So <laughs> I had a little kid today, just totally out of the blue, like I was getting picking up Benny, and he was like this little like Asian kid, super cool little kid. And he's like, hey, you Penny's dad? And I was like, yeah. You know, he was like, hey, nice to meet you. And I said, hey, nice to meet you too, buddy. You know, and he was like, hey, you Steelers fan? And I was like, uh, he's like a five-year-old kid. I was like, uh, yes, I am a Steelers fan. He's like, me too. And my dad is too. And I'm like, cool. And his mom's like, yeah, okay. Like, weird. And I was like, I don't, I don't know where that came from, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> like, it was just such a random thing. I don't know if Penny told him that I was a Steelers fan. I don't even know if she knows that. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I thought it was every time I see a Jets fan, we always we always give each other a little look, like, yeah, like, sorry, bud. Yeah, I feel your pain. Yeah, sorry, bud. Like, we were there together. Yep. Well, it should be a good year for the Jets. I hope. Yeah, we'll see. We say that every year. I mean, when, when I we come to the predictions, you know, I'm going to say the same prediction as everything every year. You know, we're going to win the Super Bowl. And uh, right, you know, shove it up your ass if you don't think so. And if you don't think so, exactly. You know. Well, <laughs> why don't you tell them that, Alan? Why don't you give them your predictions, and then we'll get out of here for the week. Yeah, my prediction is, um, uh, yeah, the Jets are going to win it all. You know, and Steve, sure. if you're listening, and I know you're a Giants fan, fuck you, Steve. Yes, no, don't exactly. fuck you, Steve. We love you, Steve. Yeah, we do love you, Steve. But uh, but well, you, the Giants and the Jets aren't like rivals, though. Yeah, but they play in our stadium. You know, they well, say it's their stadium, but it's our stadium. Uh, right. And I bet you he's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on the show. You, 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 they're always like, come we get on the Pop Culture Pros, man. If you guys like sports content for real, they have yes, a bunch yes, of it. They have a, a bunch so, of sports content. And hey, Eric, you're supposed to come on. You didn't come on. Uh, I didn't send oh. a little link. I forgot. I just nah, remembered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, go Jets and go Steelers and go uh, everybody and go home. Yeah. So, so I'm uh, Fred. Enjoy wiping your butt. You're probably still wiping from yeah, earlier. I bet you. I bet you he's using like COVID style <laughs> COVID paper. quality wipes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah when they took took all that toilet Dude, paper, but he's like, gotta get it. Hey, yeah. He's got. They have the stockpile over there. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get out of here. We'll see you guys next week with a new episode, and I think we have a hypnotist coming on. Oh, nice. Maybe I forget. I don't know if he's gonna hypnotize anybody, but oh, I don't know if you can hypnotize people over. <laughs> <laughs> on like the internet like that i'll do it i mean if he can hypnotize all right, thing, we'll try. I'll, be, I'll try it you know all right so get ready next week fred doesn't know this so we might get him hypnotized oh too. yeah that would be awesome be like <laughs> it's like we don't even yeah. tell him what he does oh we it. should okay so listen if fred's listening to this fred cut it off but anybody else what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the hypnotist to subtly hypnotize fred during the interview and see if you can get him to say key phrases with the power of hypnosis. Yeah. That would be awesome. All right. That's going to happen. So get ready for that when we mind fuck Fred next week. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. Good night. All right, B. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, I actually do want to do that. We are laughing. <laughs> and we are very good friends. <laughs> good buddy, sharing a special moment. <laughs>
Oh, what a day. <laughs> what a moment is it? Well, that's all, folks. Hasta la vista, baby. Goddamn hit. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. As you know, I'm a man of special needs. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Shirley.